All right, guys, uh, we're just going to create the basic uh, Juniper lab and we're going to connect the two devices together. So I'm just going to, I'm using uh, even G or, or PNET lab, uh, both the same thing. So I'm just going to add a node. Um, I'm using it. So Juniper, um, we need to have two parts of the Juniper. One is the forwarding uh, plane, one is the, one is the control plane. So control plane, uh, number of nodes uh, two. I will leave everything uh, to the default. So I'll save this. That's the control plane. Now we're going to add the forwarding plane to again. Everything uh, we will leave as default. Okay. I'm just going to quickly check what version I'm going to use. Yes, yeah, so this is the version I'm using. Uh, you can use any 17, 18, 19, whatever you have. Okay. Now we need to connect the forwarding plane and the uh, control plane together. Um, the interface we are going to use is um, EM1 INT interface. Okay. And now we're going to connect these two devices. I'm just going to use G1. Uh, all right, okay, so that needs to be. All right, it's going to delete this. IG1 to G00. Okay, now I'm just going to power these devices up. Select all of them and then start selected. Now this, this takes a long time to boot up, so if I uh, click on this, I'm using Secure CRT. It, it, it takes, I think, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to boot. So once they are booted up, I'll be back. Alright guys, um, so look like it's been uh, booted now, so let's log into, alright so these are the defaults, so uh, root and then once we are in the root we just need to go into CLI. Okay, now we are in, so um, what we need to do, I'm just going to configure uh, an IP address on this interface and on the other side. So if I run the command, so interface test. Right, the other thing we can see, the gig interfaces are still not up. So if I check the chassis FPC, um, yeah, I can see it's, it's not, it's not uh, online. So once it is online, uh, then we will be able to configure the 
uh, interfaces. Okay, we'll give it more time and see when it is up and running. Then we should be able to configure it. Also, this annoying message, delete chassis auto image upgrade. We just need to enter this and then commit and that will uh, stop this message. So, yeah, it's already been 11 minutes uh, when we power this device on. Let's see how long it will take for this to be fully up. All right, same thing here. Yeah. I can't see the gig interfaces. That's, this is online so this is good let's see this one now okay this is online as well now we go into the configuration mode and let's um, check the interfaces right we have GE000 um, GE001 this is the interface on this device G001 which is connected to G000 and you can see it is online and uh, it's up up okay so let's configure the IP address here right. let's delete um, these messages Okay, so what we need to do, we just need to, um, and this, this, we just copy from here, yeah, and then come in this. Okay, that should be done now. Now we're just going to configure the IP address. gonna give this IP address for this example yeah and then I'm just gonna come in this now we go on the other side I'm just gonna just going to copy this command from here and go into configuration mode paste that command in and change the IP to dot two and the interface is um, interface is zero here all right enter come in that okay we just need to delete this annoying message here as well yeah Let's, let's now ping the other side so if I, if I check the show route I need to use a run because we are in config mode yeah we can see it's a directly connected interface uh, network so I should be able to ping so let's exit this ping um, 10 dot 10 dot 10 or two let's do it rapid count maybe 20 yeah here we go so we can ping the other side 
and from the other side we should be able to ping uh, the first router so let's check the IP address on here first uh, we can see the IP address of this gig 000 is 10.2 so if I go in there and ping uh, okay, let's do 10 and then the IP address is 10.10.10.1 yeah that's pinging as well so that's the simplest network uh, for Juniper uh, where one device can ping the other device and vice versa.